and uh, welcome to Flamborough Head uh, Lighthouse and this is day one of our challenge uh, to capture uh, those uh, lighthouse light beams and the uh, the first night uh, unfortunately the skies lit up at the last minute uh, and gave us this nice um, sunset shot in the sky. I say unfortunately because what we're looking for is really dark sky to really show up those light beams. So this was as dark as it got but it wasn't dark enough the camera was still picking up brightness in the sky which wasn't allowing the light beams to really show through. Now this was much better after much experimentation with a combination of ISO, shutter speeds and aperture, I settled around this uh, setting, ISO 1000, f3.2, one second shutter. And it was the shutter speed that was the key to this. That one second was allowing those light beams to travel in the sky and do a little bit of light painting. So another adjustment to the shutter speed and this time changing it to half a second just narrowed that light beam a little bit more. A further shutter adjustment down to a quarter of a second narrowed the beam slightly more, just a little bit, not a lot. And these three settings kind of became the settings that I used to take all the pictures that you'll see in the slideshow at the end. I went the other way with the shutter speed as well. So this was 1.6 seconds, which really light painted the sky and just left a couple of gaps between the light beams. This was the longest exposure I tried. 2.5 seconds, really totally light painted the sky, illuminated the clouds, but gave a really nice effect actually. I quite like this because it just shows the power of the light in that lighthouse. Well, using those three settings, all I did then was just capture the light beams in their different positions through the 360 degree circle that they were following uh, through the sky. And as you can see in this time lapse, there was a few different variations that could be captured. Okay, so we can see the raw file here of uh, one of the images, and the raw file itself doesn't look too bad. However, by using three sliders, you can enhance those light beams straight away and uh, get the picture ready for any other adjustments that you want to do to suit your taste. So the first one is the whites. So by moving the whites, you can start to intensify the light. However, by using the whites, it does blow out very quickly. The best one here to use is the clarity. The clarity gently adds in some intensified light into those light beams and I find that was the best one to use here in this instance. And then the third slider is the blacks. So moving the blacks around either puts more light into the background sky or takes light away which uh, emphasizes the light beams in the image. And they're the, really the, the main three that I would move around first and after that um, you can play with all the other colours, maybe changing um, the white balance, warming up the colours in the sky, just to give uh, the image a, a little bit of uh, impact. Okay, thank you for watching uh, this video. Um, if you've liked the video, please give it a like. Consider um, subscribing to the channel, sharing the video 
or put in a comment in the bottom. And uh, I'll see you later.